Today I'm going to install and show you this new Custom Dynamics Pro Beam LED Tri Bar Fender Tip. This one's for the 2014 through the current year Harley Davidson Street Glide and Street Glide Special, and that's what this bike is. Road Glide and Road Glide Special, and the Road King Special. You can use the regular red lights, or they also have the smoke ones too. Since I already have the Pro Beam rear red turn signals, I went with the red. The light really helps with visibility and is a solid addition from Custom Dynamics. Since I already have on the bike the first generation Custom Dynamics LED tri bar lights, I'm going to reinstall the original stock one so I can show you how to uninstall it. Make sense? Then I'm going to show you the comparison between all three. The stock one, the first generation Custom Dynamics, and the new Pro Beam one. I already have several products from the Pro Beam line and I have zero complaints so far. I wanted to upgrade to match the ProBeam products I already have on this bike. And the install itself shouldn't take more than 15-20 minutes tops. It's really easy. Saying that, I have some tips that might make it even easier. And the tools you need for this are only like two or three. You're going to need a T25 Torx bit, a 7 16th deep socket, and I'll explain why in a little bit, and a quarter inch uh, ratchet. Let's get started. Make sure and check out my other Custom Dynamics vids, and I'd appreciate if you'd consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to receive notifications. I do many different motorcycle-related things on this channel. Now to start, all you have to do is remove both of these screws from the saddlebag. Now, specifically for this one, I have to unplug a little harness over here, because I have this, of course, from Custom Dynamics, this LED saddlebag light. I really love this. Put it on like three or four months ago. It's very handy. Now, I just take the two screws off and do the same on the other side. Before I show you this install, I want to give you an idea of some steps on these three units since it's really hard to see with the camera. And honestly, this is much easier to show you. It's better visual. I'll still do it on the bike, but this will make it easier. So this is the Harley uh, stock tri-bar light. This is the Custom Dynamics uh, original, the first generation that I had on the bike before. And then this is the Pro Beam. I'm going to put these aside for a second. With this one, what I'm going to do is when, you, when you're under the bike... You have to take this piece of plastic off first, so Harley Engineering at its finest. So it just pops off right there, and then that comes off. And there's actually, what, four steps to do this? So the first step being, take that plastic thing off that I just did, and then you can't see it here, but right above this light, under the fender, there's a 7 uh, nut that you gotta take off that holds the wire and harness in place. Once you take that out, then you remove the two wires that, are, that go here and here. And then the last step is to take the torque bolts, Torx bolts, so you can always get that right. Uh, you take that out of here, and that's where you need the T25. And this is what the bolt's going to look like and the size of it, actually behind the bike. Here's the T25 Torx bit that you're going to use. Now, the reason I mention a deep socket to take off the 7 16th nut, when you get underneath, it's really, I mean, you could use a regular uh, size socket, but having that deep makes it a little bit easier. Um, you have a little bit more leverage, and it's, it's very, very tight if you use a regular one, so I'd recommend definitely using uh, the deep socket one. And then with all mine, I think you, I would recommend also using a quarter inch ratchet uh, the half inch and anything bigger than that, it's just you don't have a lot of room underneath, so use the small one. With these, the new Pro Beam, uh, the tri bar, the one I'm putting on with the red screen, you notice it doesn't have that black piece that this one had, or this right here, that extra black piece. You don't need that anymore. It's all one unit, so when you plug it in, you just plug it in right here. And on this side, and the only thing you have to do is three steps, is that you put your Torx um, screws back in, and the same thing, you need to put the 716 nut to hold it in place. So let me show you what it's going to look like under the bike. Like I said, kind of a pain with the camera here. First step is take off this black piece I was telling you earlier about. And all you do is just do that, and it pops right off. that and then you see that uh, nut right back there now we're gonna take the 7 16th uh, socket and take that off and then once we're done with that then we'll go through and um, pop these out because these were kind of covered by that black plastic thing 
And then once these come out, all we have to do is take out the uh, torque screws, which are right behind here. These torque screws can be a little bit of a challenge to get to, but once you get to them, they come out pretty easy. And then you just take them off on the other side, and then we'll remove the tri bar. Now that we have the old one out, let's put the new one in. It's going to look something like this once we get it all set up in here. Three steps. All we need to do to reinstall it is right where my finger is. We're going to put the 7 16th nut back on with the washer, and that's going to hold the wire harness in place. And then we're going to put the Torx screws back in. And the last step is to plug the harness back into the tri bar light. Now the left side of the harness is for the bike lights, and the right side is the output to the turn signals. The harness is only going to go in one way, so if it won't go in, just flip the harness around and you should be good. Now let's compare all three. I picked up the Magic Strobes a year ago, and this really makes a difference with the LED tri bar. So when you see the lights being possessed, that's the reason. On the comparison, you'll see the running lights, then the brake lights with Magic Strobes, brake lights again, and then the running light. And I want to make a note on the stock tri bar. It's only running lights, and the two custom dynamic ones are going to show you running lights and brake lights. So what do you guys think? The Pro Beam one is really bright and it looks solid. I'm happy with it. Hopefully this video was helpful. I'm going to put the link of the Pro Beam light in the description. I'd highly recommend Custom Dynamics products. They have been a great addition for this bike and you got to love the warranty on them. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Be well and I'll talk to you guys soon.